thinking, what place does a Tvar Torah have to do with a concert? You came here for music. I don't know if you came here for, for a Tvar Torah, but I want to share with you one really quick idea. That song reminded me of my original mentor, Rabbi Mayor Schuster, who was Nifter just a few months ago. And, um, and he was that first person, very humble person, that would go over to people at the Kaisal and he would say, you know, are you Jewish? Or he would say, what time is it? And through that first approach, even though it was uncomfortable for him, he was able to bring them to Eishat Torah, to Osemach, to Neveh. And a whole generation of Balei Tshuva came about through Mayor Schuster's work. I was at the University of Albany about a week ago, and one student came over to me and he said, Rabbi, can you give me Judaism in a nutshell? And, and if you can give it to me like in one word, in one word, so then I'm in. And if, if it's too long and too winded and too rabbinic, I'm not that interested. So I said, I think, I think that can be done. And I'll give you the one word. The word is called empathy. Empathy. Empathy is what Pesach is all about. Empathy means that I feel your pain as if it was my pain. The reason that HaKadosh Baruch Hu put us in Mitzrayim is to teach us this one word, empathy. Remember what it's like to be downtrodden, to be beaten, to be abused, to be discarded. Remember that, and then go out in the world and make the world a better place. And that's what Pesach is going to remind us of. So right away, HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes us to Tar Sinai and gives us the Torah, and right after that begins the halachas and parashas mishpatim, how to treat an Eved. Why is that the first halacha right after the Aser Sadibris? And the answer is simple. Because we were just Avadim. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I took you out of Mitzrayim so you could feel the next person's pain. When a person came over to Hillel and said, tell me the Torah on one foot, what did he say? On one foot, the entire Torah on one foot. What is hurtful to you, what is painful to you, don't do it to your friend. And the opposite, make the next person's pain your pain. Make the next person simcha, your simcha. It's Judaism in a nutshell. It's the reason that HaKadosh Baruch Hu put us here on earth. It's the reason that we're the Amman Nivcher, to feel the next person's pain. So when somebody needs a shidduch, we are there on the phone and we're making that phone call. And if the person doesn't call us back, we're gonna make another phone call and another phone call. And when we hear that somebody is struggling, with their child, we're gonna be there for them as well. Whether it's a, a machla, or whether they're a kid at risk, no matter what it is, we are there because we know empathy, we know pain, and we are there as the Amman as the people who have been taught what Lechem Oini is. We know what it's like, bitterness. We know what Maror is. We know what it's like to be bitter. And because of that, that's what Pesach is all about. That's the reason that you are here, sitting here in the audience. These are not just songs. We are not idol worshiping people. We don't have Jewish idol, American idol, where a person gets up and everyone votes for them. It's not about that. It's about hearing words and having them enter our soul because this stuff is real to us. Music is real. There's a real message going on here. And therefore, I want to give you a little bit of homework, you dear audience. I want to give you one, one idea. Some of you may know, I started a website called Shabbat.com. And sh how many of you are members? That's great. So for those of you that don't know, Shabbat.com allows people to invite guests. I want to tell you, on Shabbat.com, which has the Haskam of the Gedolim, Rabbi Aaron Feldman from there, he's from Baltimore, Rabbi Elia Bervat from South Fallsburg. On Shabbat.com, there are 50,000 people most of them waiting for a Shabbos invite every week of the year. There are Almanas and Yasaimim who sit at home eating tuna because no one invites them. There are Balei Tshuva who just came back from Eretz Yisrael and they go right back off the derech because no one, nobody invites them. So we wanted to create a way for Klai Yisrael to reach out. And every week, 6,000 people get invited for Shabbos in 112 countries. So I'm challenging you to tap into the empathy of Klai Yisrael, tap into the Rachmanim B'nai Rachmanim, become a member, 
and right away, maybe for Yom Tov Shemi, and if it's too soon, then maybe the first Shabbos, be, be, be that person to extend an invitation. Don't just get on the site, but go and click invite, invite. I want you to join. And if you can do that, you, clients, will be a, a, a nation that brings the Geula through Rahmanis and through Chesed. Thank you very much.